up, guys? It's your boy, Alex, and welcome back to the, another... Ah, I got tongue-tied there. Welcome back to another reaction video. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we are taking a look at the next episode for Camp Camp Season 1. Uh, the first one blew up like a lot so much, so I figured, you know, might as well check out the second episode. We'll see how that goes. Now, originally, I planned to do, like, episode 2 and 3 at the same time. But then I realized that I would have to record the intro for this video and then, you know, record the outro. That probably would have made the video too long. So we're just going to do one episode at a time. I know it's going to take a lot longer, but that's how it's going to work. Um, I did mention before uh, on my channel that, uh, yes, it was going to be a birthday weekend this week because, you know, I'm turning 29 officially today. Well, I'm officially 29 now. Even though, to be fair, I feel the same, honestly. I feel like the same age and everything. But, you know, it's it's that kind of thing. But anyway, uh, if you guys want to, you know, send happy birthdays today, feel free to. You guys don't have to. It's appreciated. But, you know, if you guys want to, just go ahead. You know, go nuts with happy birthdays in the comments if you want. Uh, but I did mention on my poll if there's any particular games... Uh, that you want me to do for my gaming channel, whether for it's P whether it's for PC, uh, for PlayStation, for Switch, that kind of stuff. Let me know in the comment section down below of this video as well. Anyway, uh, not gonna make the intro too long. Let's just jump right into the episode. All right, we are ready to start this episode off just right. That sounded wrong. I, I apologize if that sounded wrong. I meant we're ready to start the episode, like most of my intros for this video. I can't believe, like, my reaction to the first episode of this series actually blew up pretty well. But I'm excited to get into the more of these episodes of this first season. So, without further ado, let's dive right into, I hope, episode 2 of season 1, which is called Mascot. And from the looks of it, that gerbil or hamster cage is probably their mascot for the camp. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> anyway, uh, starting the video in 3, 2, 1... Let's go. I almost forgot my countdown intro because I know I've done it for the last few times. Didn't get the timing right. So, uh, yeah, that's not good. Anyway, let's just actually start this episode off right. <clears throat> I had to clear my throat there for a second. Oh, I've been having like a lot of phlegm come up lately and it's not fun. And here we have our time-honored camp mascot, Larry the Hamster. Say hi, Larry. Hi there, campers. I hope you're ready to have fun today. <laughs> They seem to say that David is just a big old goofball. <laughs> oh, what's Max got planned now? Well, this is kind of elaborate when you think about it. Mm. <laughs> okay, okay, that's a crazy way to start off this episode. Oh no, the poor hamster! Oh man, I was supposed to kill you. Uh, dude, Max, you just killed an animal! Oh, I'm guessing this is the intro for the show? I think this is the same song from the first episode as well. It's very catchy, though. Oh, wow. That's a pretty good singer. Oh, gosh. Whoa, whoa. Uh, wait. I. Uh, well, that was a hell of an intro for this show. <laughs> wow. Just listing off all the crazy and dangerous fun things that they could do at this camp. You know, I really hope that one of the episodes isn't one where they actually have to defuse bombs. Otherwise... Yeah, these kids are not going to have a great summer. They're going to have PTSD from all that crazy stuff that's going to happen. They seem to say Neil is probably going to have, like, PTSD after this. I mean, I haven't gotten to meet, like, every single character because, again, only watched, like, the first episode. But still, really, really crazy intro for them to start, the, to, to start us off on. Oh, boy. I felt bad for the hamster at the start of this. They seem to say Max is pretty much a little psychopath. Whoa, whoa. Why are you gonna put that shit on us? We don't work here. Well, Max, we were going to make 
handmade ice cream, but someone killed our mascot. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So I think that apparently is the start of like David starting to get a little bit unhinged. Just a little bit. Oh boy. Lady sickness. My mom used to get that all the time. How do you cure it? Okay. Okay. I'm going for one with a lot of teeth. It should be cool. Yeah. It should be I need a break from David. Just one day. Just one. <laughs> um. Hey, David. Yes, Max. Why don't you have the quartermaster take half of us? Um. That thing is covered in blood. Why, Max? What a wonderful idea. He's such a beloved member of our family. Oh, dude. Ew. Love to learn from my elders. You seriously want to go in the woods with a bad guy from every horror movie ever? Yeah, he's going to turn you into a skin suit. Calm down, it'll be fine. Besides, anything better than hanging with David. Hmm. So, everyone, just really overwhelm by all this friendship right now. Who <sighs> <laughs> else would like to embark on a friendship walk? Who knows? Maybe some of our esteemed quartermaster's wisdom will rub off on you. Yeah, rub off on you. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Max would volunteer. I was about to say, I don't think that's a pretty much good idea to go with this guy if he literally was dragging a body full of blood. I mean, to be fair, it might be like chum from something else, but I don't know. Everyone keep your eyes peeled. You never know what you'll find. That's great. I mean, that's kind of cute. You can have like another cute mascot like for your camp. I have to say, she's she's like a dang ninja now. What's wrong, Neil? What's wrong? I wanted to spend my summer in an air-conditioned laboratory. Oh, he's still kind of pissed after the first episode. Oh, come on, Neil. Nature can be your friend if you just give it a chance. There's a raccoon trying to scavenge near us. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh, I don't know. If... Oh, they're going to die. They are going to die. Oh, this uh This place doesn't look safe. Look man, we can just go back to the camp and relax. Ryan can be the mascot. Mm. You kids think you're so Okay. You need to see beyond the camp into the true beauty of nature. Uh, this looks like the place where teenagers go to get stabbed. <laughs> I mean, wait, what? Max isn't wrong about that, though. Oh, gosh, this is, uh... Ooh, I don't think these two are surviving. I mean, to be fair, that place does look like something that, like, you know, you would see teens get killed at, like, instantly. Hold on one Okay. Well, the bear's dead. Then again, probably something bigger in that forest immediately killed it afterwards. Oh, please don't tell me these two are going to get killed off by whatever else is in this cave. I really like these two so far. Again, only watched the first episode so far, but I really like these two. I was also going to say, I really hope there is, like, maybe, like, an episode where they're going to be watching, like, or they're going to try to watch, like, an R-rated horror movie that takes place at a summer camp where teens get killed. Is that little reference that Max made. I would have fed them porridge. And it was just right. Oh, well, I guess we should turn around and go back to live a normal life. Mm. Oh, <laughs> what? Is... Oh, platypus. It's actually quite dangerous. I think it has a little poison spur on its hind wing. Oh, no. Awesome. You're coming with mom. Um. Oh, gosh. It got on its tail. Run. <laughs> the noise it made. <laughs> I am seriously not trusting a single thing this guy is talking about. Oh. Enjoy wearing 
skin. Whoa. Oh. Well, this is nice. You're like cool little tree throne. The Squirrel King. Oh, he's adorable. <laughs> he's so cute. Oh! Oh my gosh! You, just... you fucking killed it. He just dang killed the Squirrel King, bro. Okay, my suspicions now on this guy are so confirmed. He is a complete psychopath right now. What the hell, man? Bro, this is... This is messed up. So now I guess he's like the king of the forest critters, I guess, now since he's taken the Squirrel King's crown. Dude, this guy is psychotic. What the hell, man? Okay. Some point, I'm probably going to be wrong, Jesse. He's going to kill someone at this point, and he's going to get arrested and not going to be the quartermaster anymore. Dude, that just took a dark turn. I know I said at the beginning that these kids are going to have PTSD from any of the other stuff they might do. That. Bro! <laughs> I feel bad for Max because now he's going to have PTSD after that. A caterpillar, which will blossom into a beautiful butterfly, just like all you campers. Next, a tin mm, <laughs> just a tin can, which can be recycled and become anything it puts its mind to. That gives me plus one dexterity. I have something. Mm. Look and be amazed. Who oh, that actually kind of works. Is it or is it magic? <sighs> Tada! Where'd it go? Bring it back. Oh, I don't know how. This is kind of why I'm here. Of course. <laughs> Well, at least they still got the platypus, though. Where do we go now? I don't know. This is a really bad idea in hindsight. Oh, this is not good. What the hell's going on? I mean, at least Gwen's now in this episode. Why do you always have to make things weird and complicated? Well, I mean, I think this is all pretty normal. <sighs> Oh my gosh. I looked away for one second. I need my dog. <sighs> All right. Yeah, just 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 take some more medicine to ease the pain, Gwen. Platypus is our new mascot. I think you tried to teach me a lesson. What? Like I would not even go near that guy ever again. After what he just did. Oh, the hamster's okay! How about that? Larry's back. All right. Why do I get the feeling it's gonna die from something else? I knew it! Fine, whatever. It's the platypus. Does this mean we'll be the Camp Campbell platies? No, I don't think so. What about the pussies? Definitely not. Oh, no. That's a horrible... Pussies for life. You guys, no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> wow. Mm. All right, there you have it, guys. That was my reaction to episode two of actually, hopefully, season one. Hopefully, it's season one. I had to, like, go back on Rooster Teeth's, like, website to see if it was season one, episode two. And, yeah, it was. Uh, anyway, that was probably a crazy episode. Mostly for that quartermaster guy. I already knew, like, he was a psychopath and everything, but I didn't expect him to kill the Squirrel King. That's so sad. That is, like, so, so sad. Again, I already have my theory now that, like, he's going to end up killing someone by the end of the season. And he's going to end up going to jail. No one's going to bail him out and we're never going to see him ever again. <laughs> oh, good lord. That was... Whew. That ended the episode, though, yeah. Now that camp is going to get even more made fun of than I'm pretty sure it already is. I'm already sure that the camp gets make, made fun of, like, super quick. Anyway, uh, with that being said, 
Thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell to never miss a video. And if there's any other indie animated shows you guys want me to react to, let me know in the comment section down below. And I will try to get to those. Anyways, I will see all you awesome guys and gals later. Bye-bye!